are high energy type fractures, but sometimes may occur due to uh, low energy fractures like uh, sporting injuries. Uh, Rudy and Algor classification has been very popular to classify them. Similarly, the O group have classified them as uh, type C1, C2, and C3. And these groups, uh, type C2 and C3, belong to the high energy types. The basic principles are known to everybody, joint stability, articular congruity, anatomic alignment, but most importantly, good soft tissue cover. Uh, all the fractures should be properly evaluated as a closed compound, swelling, skin condition, fracture blisters, compartment syndrome, etc. The clinical picture may vary in severity like this. Uh, various surgical options are available, open reduction internal fixation, external fixation, millimanial baji plate osteosynthesis, MIPO or hybrid external fixation also. We have examined uh, the option of definitive fixation by illusory of apparatus after ligament axis. Uh, so what made us uh, uh, take this path? Open reduction is advisable only within the first 12 hours of injury before the edema sets in and the soft tissue condition get worse. Otherwise, uh, this should be delayed for at least one to two weeks. And they are better avoided in open fractures or with fracture blisters. And they are very notorious to known to be caused, uh, causing uh, own breakdown, infection, osteomyelitis, even leading to amputations. Conventional external fixator, they are basically temporary measures. Uh, they doesn't allow uh, weight bearing either. Uh, hybrid external fixator, again, are not stable enough for weight bearing. Uh, MIPO has shown some uh, promise, but still not very suitable in compound fractures, and it doesn't actually eliminate the chances of implant-related skin breakdown. Uh, the basis of illusory of fixation is traction. Traction, when applied across a joint, causes ligamentotaxis, thereby reducing the fracture fragments. Uh, in illusory uh, procedure, basically we use three rings construct in the tibia and one five-eighths ring in the calcaneum to span the ankle. Distraction force is applied between these two segments and a dummy ring is left in between for the final fixation of the articular fragments. This is how we construct the frame. Uh, first, these two rings are applied in the proximal part of the tibia. This uh, creates the basic uh, framework. Uh, in the second step, we use this calcaneal ring uh, <coughs> for bringing the talocalcaneal uh, component uh, back to the axis of the tibia. Now, we go for ligamentotaxis between this segment and the calcaneal segment, leaving this dummy ring in between for the final fixation. The definitive fixation is uh, taken up after, uh, after uh, seeing the reduction in the image intensifier using this uh, dummy ring that we left previously. And uh, interfragmentary fixation is achieved by olive oil. Uh, in our series, we uh, you, uh, we treated 16 consecutive fractures with uh, this method. The average age was 41.8 years, and all the patients were treated uh, within the six hours of uh, their presentation, irrespective of the fracture type, time since injury, or soft tissue condition, whether there is compound or not. Uh, the most common mechanism of injuries were road traffic accidents, followed by simple falls. Uh, most of the fractures that we got in our series are type C2 or C3 in our classification. Uh, four of them were compound. This was the case of uh, type C3-5 fracture, came to us at the third stage. We treated with the same method. And this was the post-op x-rays after calcaneal skin uh, pin, uh, ring removal. And this is the final uh, follow-up union x-ray. The patient having very good function after 23 months. The second case was type C3 parent fracture, treated in a similar manner. After 25 fall month follow-off, dorsiflexion and final present good with good union. This was the case of grade 2 uh, compound pattern fracture treated with uh, the illusorov. At the first step, we didn't get good uh, alignment. We had to go for a secondary uh, readjustment of the fixator. The patient doing uh, post op rehabilitation. And this is the final union. Uh, the average duration of ankle immobilization was 3.8 weeks. An average uh, time of uh, <coughs> duration of fixation was 16.5 weeks. We had some complication. This was a case where the wire cut through into the ankle joint and uh, causing this malunion. And this was another virus fixation which we had to reconsider for uh, uh, reapplying of the fixator. We had some complication. The most common of them is uh, pin track infection. That is the only worry about this uh, method. But uh, importantly, we didn't have any case of deep infection, osteomyelitis, or arthrodesis. 
we uh, assessed all the function, all the ankles with the modified major score and most of our cases uh, went for fair, good or excellent results. Only two cases went for poor results. So what are the advantages of Yelijarov? It is a minimal invasive technique. It is strong, stable construct, allows early weight bearing and almost eliminates the risk of deep infection, wound breakdown or osteomyelitis. Shortcomings, it is a technically demanding procedure, requires a thorough knowledge of the anatomic planes. It is cumbersome construct for both patient and the surgeon. And the most important uh, drawback is pain track infection and uh, pain. Uh, I conclude by saying, uh, although universal agreement on the best treatment modality is yet to be reached, by minimizing the dreaded perioperative complications and morbidity, the Elijah of External Fixator has proved excellent in the management of high energy T-bell panel fractures. Thank you.